We smell terrible. We smell bad. This is day four, I guess, of Audad New Mexico hunting, New Mexico Audad hunting. Um, we decided to pull an audible, surprise, surprise. Yeah, an odd, 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 audible. Odd, 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 odd audible. That's, that was go. the way to do it. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back up north and go hunt to where we originally had planned on going. To where the New Mexico Fish and Game lady said, quote, there ain't no Audad up there. Well, we intend to prove them wrong and go harvest one up there. So there ain't no Audad down there either. Yeah. So. so yeah, either way, we can go 12 hours and see no Audad away, or 12 hours away from home and see no Audad, or we can go like six hours away from home and see no Audad. So whatever so anyway we are gonna head up to that uh, that canyon up north and uh, on the way we are going to finish up listening to some meteor podcasts and some 80s synth rock so nice. um, so yeah should be fun All right, update. We have made it to the canyon that we want to hunt. We are going to set up camp real quick, like. Um, it's cool, we have like an actual like developed campground down here, so have a little bit of amenities. But uh, yeah, here's what we're looking at. I think we're going to cruise around this evening down the valley of this and take a look and see what's on the hillside and hopefully come up with some sheep. To the northern up to northern New Mexico pretty much and we're like a thousand feet lower in elevation than when we were in southern New Mexico it's 20 degrees colder and probably about 25 to 30 mile an hour winds yeah, my feet are wet. and we've made like multiple creek crossings so yeah. we're wet we're cold snacking but so yeah we're, we're feeding have, our faces with delicious snacks but I have a bagel pan <laughs> And you have to go cups. Exactly. Life is good. So man. life is good. Cliff bars, seaweed snacks. Good. I should probably wash this at yeah. some point. Just a little extra flavor. Yeah. All right, well, we uh, came to the end of day four, yeah. and this looks like this will probably be the last evening that we hunt this trip. This is a year-long tag, though, um, so we have plenty of opportunities potentially to come down here um, and come look for some more Barbary sheep. Uh, saw some, spectacularly, some spectacular scenery, um, and we're really astonished by seeing elk and deer in places that we didn't think they would ever be there. So and like, definitely like, test just, our limits. Not just a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah, yeah, yeah a bunch, a significant amount. Yeah. Kim, are we gonna go home with a pile of sheds too? So it's not like this trip was for naught. And um, g g a lot of reconnaissance. That's uh, yeah. now we know the train, know where to get there, save a lot of time. And
cars, just go to where you need to go and exactly. get there. The part that I thought was cool about this whole thing was, I mean, this is an over-the-counter tag. It's a year-long season, and there's so much land here. Yep. Like, it's yep. all public access, yep. easy to do. Um, so, I mean, I'll certainly be back before my tag expires next April. Exactly. I'm hoping to get a couple more trips in under our belt. But. It's a little part of the trip, but testing our gear and equipment. Yeah. That's, I mean, optics, and boots. And out, out of shape. Yep. We've all got Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put, a, put a damper on, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we thought we would slide in under the radar, but we uh, we found out pretty darn quick how, how much of a butt kicker this is. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm excited for round two, round three, however many rounds it's going to take to finally end up getting one, yeah. getting this thing done. So, yeah. 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 It should be pretty fun. So anyway, all right. That's Thanks a wrap. That's cool. great. <laughs>